So what that did for us is it opened up Mark II conveyor belts and lifts. Both of these are twice as fast as these. These are 60 per minute. These are 120 per minute. Hello. This is fun. I'm just going to keep doing it. There's no reason not to. I'll see you guys in about an hour. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started in earnest on uh, building our factory, uh, getting our factory moved up here onto the floor. We're going to also get the space elevator going in this episode. And, yeah, those are our two main goals. But something cool that we can do, and I've seen a couple other people do this, is that if we go, if we go all the way to the right-hand screen uh, until it kind of turns to this vignette-looking thing and then click, it brings up the to-do list. And if you hover over the question mark, there's some tags you can put in to you know, do a little bit of formatting, uh, which is really cool. So let's actually uh, uh, try this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in um, an H tag for heading. And we're going to call this a to-do list. And then we'll close that up. And then uh, on the to-do list today, we're going to put two square brackets, which will be like a little checkbox for us. And we're going to move shit to platform. <laughs> In other words, all of our all of our product down below. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna conveyor belt it up here. Um, we're also going to um, build space elevator, and we're going to finish up um, Mark uh, to logistics. So Mark to logistics we're going to do jump pads today uh, research them rather and we're also going to do the awesome sink and if we have time um, we're going to also see if we can set up our iron um, product line Okay, there we go. All right, and so that creates a nice little to-do list that we can check off as we as we go along on the right-hand side. Really, really handy. Okay, so move shit to platform. That's the first thing. So here's what I'm going to do for that. I'm going to just... Um, blah, 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 blah. i got to think about this for just a second. I think what we'll do for that is... We can't put it over there. We can't put it right here because that's, just, that's where we're going to build. So let's just kind of push it back over to here this should be close enough for now all right so what we're going to do is if, if you press in by the way that brings up the search and if you go to uh, if you just start typing in what you're looking for in this case storage kind of spell it correctly um, you can immediately get to what you want to build which is super handy um, you can also uh, by the way use that as a calculator too and right, let's put you there and trying to think how I want to do this. Yeah, we've got five products. No, actually, we got six products in total. And, and this is, by the way, this is temporary. All we're doing here is we're just moving it all up here. Uh, but we're going to automate that so I don't have to go, you know, make several trips back and forth. Um, yeah, if you press in, um, you can search for stuff, but you can also use this as a, as a calculator. So, for example, if I go to times two is four. How about that, huh? So pretty cool. We'll be using that uh, probably um, more than more than 100 times for, for that purpose. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to need, um, if we're going to make belts, uh, oh, we just need plates for that. Okay, so let's go make sure we have a bunch of plates. You know what? Hold on a second. We're going to... I'm going to actually um, change things up just a little bit. Now that I think this through a little bit more. Let's go... Let's grab some more cables. Let's grab some more wires. 
Let's grab some more rods. And some more screws. And some more concrete. Oh, uh, I went out and chainsawed a bunch of that coral that's way off to the north and got a whole mess of limestone in the process. And so I dumped it all in here to, to feed it in into the constructor there for concrete. Let's grab, say, like three stacks of that. Okay. Uh, we will get back to moving our shit to the platform, but I actually want to get started on um, these milestones because... The way that we're going to do this today is going to take a little little bit of time. Um, so right now, let's put the concrete, the plates, and the rods in. But we need 50 reinforced iron plates, which just which reminds me. Um, we researched that hard drive from the last episode, and these are the recipes that we got from it. Um, this one allows us to make copper wire with just one ingot of keterium. However, we don't have access to keterium right at the moment. We will later. So that's not really doing us a whole lot of good. Um, this one here is a really good recipe for, for frames because you get five per minute instead of two, which is the standard recipe. Um, however, I think we're going to go with stitched iron plates. And the what makes this cool is that you can make these plates with stage one materials. So you just need iron plates and copper wire. Um, whereas the standard recipe for this requires screws, which is a stage two material because you have to first make rods and then make screws. So for that reason alone, I really like this recipe. So we're going to go ahead and go with stitched iron plates. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Now we need 50, um, reinforced plates, um, or stitched iron plates to, uh, to, to make that. And unfortunately you can't make the alternate recipes in here. Now I could sit here for, you know, a few minutes and, and handcraft all this stuff, but we're going to try and kill two stones with one bird here. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to set ourselves up a, uh, just kind of a temporary, um, assembler. Okay. So let's go press the N key as a Nancy. Let's type in ass for assembler. And, oh, okay, so we need eight plates and four rotors. Those we will make by hand since that won't take very long. There we go. And we're just going to stick um, the assembler over here for now. This is just a temporary setup. Um, it's not, uh, you know, we're, we're going to pick this up later today, most likely. Uh, but let's put it, uh, let's put it right there. And we'll just run a belt into there. I don't care if it's straight or not. It doesn't matter for this operation. And here's our alternate stitched iron uh, plating recipe. So we're going to select that, which will take um, iron plates and 20 wire. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a couple of um, bins here. <clears throat> and I think what I'll do for this is we'll put one like that and one like this. And let's put um, let's put a, s a couple stacks of wire in there and uh, a couple stacks of plating in there, and we just need to now uh, run some power. That guy's full. That guy's not full. Um, okay, let's do. How do I want to do this? I think what I'm going to do here is <clears throat> let's take this line off of there and run it from here. Okay, and then we'll run this line down to that should be good power you on and yep it should start making plates so we need 50 of those okay so now while we're waiting for that let's get back to this little project here um i'm probably going to need to get even more plates now but i'm going to i'm just going to do this as quick and easy 
as possible. I don't care if it's straight or what it looks like as far as that goes. Because this is, again, it's a temporary thing. All right, so we'll bring you to here. And we're just, we're basically just going to plug these into the ends of our cases there. We will lift that up above there just because even I have my limits on jank setups and we don't want stuff to go through stone. Okay, so that'll bring all of our screws up to the platform. And we're going to stop the production of those things down here. In fact, we're just going to pick all of this stuff up. Because part of our what we're about is cleaning all this up. Okay. I am going to leave the... Well, I'm not... No. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's... <laughs> I do that so much. Uh, let's not be carrying our rebar gun around because I misfire it a million times a day, it seems. Okay, so we'll get all of this out of the way. Um, I am going to pick the miners up too because when we reset these later, we're going to put them on foundations. And looks like I ran out of space. Of course I did. Is there um, room to dismantle that? No. Okay. So, yeah, we can't put stuff in there. How many screws do we actually have in here? Yeah, we got a, a decent amount. That's going to take a little while. If all I was doing today was moving this stuff up here, yes, it would be faster for me to just make a few trips and carry it, but... You know, we're doing more than just that. So um, this is going to let's see screws that this will be our extra plates. So let's put. Oh, right. We got all this extra orange stuff, too. All right. You know what we're going to do with that then is. Uh, let's do. Let's just put that right here for now. Actually, do I want to do that? No, I don't want to do that. I want to put it over here. So we'll just put ingots and in ore in that one. Okay, now let's run another line off of here. Let's bring it back as far this way as it'll let us. There's good. And then into here. Oh, that's not... No, we can't do that. That's just not allowed. Bring you out to here. There we go. Okay, so that'll get our plates going. and uh, Or no, sorry, our rods going. Um... <clears throat> And uh, we still have a decent amount of those. Okay, so these are the plates. Uh, I'm going to actually pick a few more of these up. And why don't we just work backwards with this one? So that'll be plates. This will be rods. Okay, next we will do copper wire. What the hell? Not allowed. Let's go to here ish and go up. There we go. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's not going to work either. I know it shouldn't matter, but it does. It's 
That's all I can tell you. Next, we have our cable. And that can go up into there. Okay, so that'll get our cable over here. And then the final one, of course, to do is the concrete. And I think I'm going to actually... Uh, it's not going to let me do that, so... You know what, though? Actually, no, nah, let's just... Let's actually just carry the concrete, because there's not that much of it. And even more than that... I might actually just keep the concrete going for now, because it's, it's the closest to the base, and... Uh, I don't have a lot of it, so I want to keep this actually producing at the moment. Yeah, because we don't have a ton of it. Okay, so that's good enough. So the whole idea here, again, is, you know, just to move all of our product up to the stand while we're working on other things. And I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to run out of space. Okay, here, let's just do this. I'm going to just take everything apart and let it fall on the ground, and I'll pick it up later because it'll just fall down into, into crates. You know, another way you can, you can do this, too, is to kind of disassemble it in such a way that the last thing you disassemble is where you want the crate to drop, and then everything drops into that into that spot. But uh, yeah, I'll I'll pick all that stuff up later. That's an off-camera thing. Okay, good. So I think we're we're good to go. Um, we can actually remove all of this uh, these power lines too. So let's see if we can select multi-select them. Get the, that many done anyway. And yeah, we're just cleaning up the neighborhood here. Excellent. Let's go check our uh, check on our um, plates to see how many we have. We need a total of fifty. Fifty-four or fifty-five. Good. Okay. So, um, can I grab all those? I can. Okay. Let's stop this. Uh, well, I already happen to know that we're gonna need to switch this over to rotors. So let's just do that right now. Um, and rotors are gonna need rods and screws. So let's pick all of this stuff up. And we will put uh, a few stacks of rods in here and a few stacks of screws in here. Take the copper out of there and pick these items up. Nope. Try it again. Don't move the mouse when you click. There you go. And then that'll start making rotors for us because we're going to need 50 of those for the next thing we got to do. Pick that up. Are you... Production pause. Oh yeah, unpause. There we go. Okay. Now, let's go back over here. And we will load up all of these plates. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Excellent. So what that did for us is it opened up Mark II conveyor belts and lifts. Both of these are twice as fast as these. These are 60 per minute. These are 120 per minute. Hello. This is fun. I'm just going to keep doing it.
There's no reason not to. I'll see you guys in about an hour. Just kidding. Okay. Um. Oh, dude. <laughs> Um, all right, so next to milestone. Hey, look at this. We can go over to here and we can check off move shit to platform and check off Mark II logistics. We are accomplishing things today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next milestone is going to be jump pads. Um, and that's what we need the, the 50 rotors for, but we can't load this up until our little rocket dude gets back. Okay, so look at all that product. It's awesome. Um, I think the next thing we want to do is build ourselves a space elevator. So to do that, what uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add another tile here to the end of our setup. Make sure we're in zoop mode and let's zoopity doop all the way down here. I have to deal with that tree later. Let's press N as in Nancy and type in tower. Grab a lookout tower and turn the ladder this way. And let's hop on up here. Okay. Um, press N, go to space elevator. And we are missing like five iron rods. Seriously? Are you serious? Are you serious? Ow. Let's grab a stack of iron rods. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we're going to turn this this way. And I'm going to put it right... Uh, yeah, let's let's put it right there, but maybe move it this closer. Awesome. All right. If you guys have never seen this before, this is like one of the coolest things in this game. Let's watch the animation here. Actually, here. Let's watch it from down below. That is so awesome. And the dude comes down from the top and it clamps it down in place. Okay. That is our space elevator, ladies and gentlemen. What we use this for, for those of you who may not know, is we use it to upload really high end parts into space for fix it to do whatever the hell they do with it. Uh, but what this means, or, or, or the reason we do that is because it's what gets us to the higher tiers. So even though we can and will finish all of the milestones for tier two, we don't get uh, access to tier three until we send 50 smart platings up the space elevator, which we will be working uh, to do. But man, this thing is just massive. It is so cool. I love it. All right. Very good. Let's uh, take a look and see. Uh, or actually, let's go into our, our to-do list and we have built the space elevator. And, whoops, go here, space elevator X, awesome. Okay, so we are just waiting now for um, 50 rotors to be made up in order to do our jump pads. And while that's happening, we're going to be working on other things. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. We're going to go down to this thingy here and we're going to get rid of the ore that's on top okay um, our dude's back now I'm going to copy a foundation and I'm going to put some foundations down over this 
ore deposit. And the reason I'm doing that, if you don't already know, is because then it'll allow us to put the miner down um, and be on the same grid vertically, well, and, and horizontally, as everything else. Uh, and that'll just give us nice, neat conveyor connections. It's not essential to do this, but if you want to make things as neat as possible, then yeah, it is essential in that particular case. Let's press the N key as in Nancy. Let's type in uh, minor. And we're going to make a mark one minor here. Let's turn it this way and pop it down. All right, fan freaking tastic. Let's go back up this way. And we need to get this guy powered up. So I think, see, you're doing power for that. This power pole, I might end up moving that later. We'll see. Um, but I th think you're powering that over there. Okay. So let's just put another inline pole here and try and line it up. It needs to, it needs to come over one. Okay, that looks good. Let's set you... Oh, you're... Yeah, you just automatically mine whatever we put you on. Okay, so we got that miner set up. Now what we're going to do is... We're going to... Um, let's see. This is... These two tiles are our main street. Because remember, these guys aren't going to stay here. They're just there for until we get to the rest of our rotors made. So let's go down here. And I'm going to remove this block and this block. Okay. I'm going to put a block there. Now, we're going to take and um, let's go into our menu for a second. And I want to kind of rearrange my toolbar here. So let's put mark two belts in the four slot. Uh, mark one conveyors in five. Mark two conveyors in six uh, lifts. And we'll put stackable poles in seven. We'll put splitters in eight and mergers in nine down for our toolbar here. Because we're going to be using all of that stuff a lot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get a Mark 1 lift. I'm going to attach it there and attach it there. And then we're going to run a conveyor line to um, probably about here's good for now. And because we use the foundations, that's nice and level and straight, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Very sexy. Okay. Now, next thing is we're going to take and put a splitter right in the center of this block. Make sure the input's that way. And we're going to stack them three high. And then we're going to remove uh, these two. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go down here and... I need to Let's turn our light on. Okay, let's grab this splitter here and we're going to put it right in the center of this tile. Come on, get in position. Right again. There you go. Okay. So I I think that's I think that's where we want it. Oh, what the frick did I just do? Try that again. I think we want it right there. Okay, and now this needs to go up nine. How do I know it needs to go up nine? Because I actually tested this before I started recording. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and then it needs to turn this way. Okay. Let's just get rid of this and we'll rerun the line and just take it straight into here. Excellent. Okay. Now let's go back up top side here. And that should be lined up, but it's not because I screwed it up. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Let's try this again. Maybe I'll see if I can do it from up here. Turn it that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Perfecto. Now, uh, we've talked about this before, but it's important for what's going to happen next. This miner produces 60 ore per minute, okay? Uh, when you run it at normal speed, which is all, which is what we're going to do. Keep that in mind, 60, 60 ore per minute. Because what we're going to set up here is going to be 100% efficient by the time we're done. 29, okay. We're about two-thirds of the way there. I know this takes a little bit longer. Could have done it faster by hand, but again, we're killing two stones with one bird here by, by doing multiple things at the same time. Okay, so that stuff is all still coming up there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a, uh, a refiner. So let's hit the N key and do, uh, or sorry, not refiner, smelter. Grab a smelter. And I want to turn it this turn it this way, make sure it's in the center of this block. Um, and I want it to be a th uh, yeah, I think I want the, the, the white wire frame to be just behind the the center line of this tile of foundation. Yep, that's exactly what I want. Okay, let's grab another lift. We'll attach that lift there, flip this one around and attach it there, and then run a quick line into there. And you'll notice that the the face of this lift is, is even with the seam here, so it's not protruding out into this final tile, because this is, we want to, you know, try and keep this more or less open. Good, okay. Now we want to set you to do iron ingots and notice that the smelter takes in 30 ore per minute. Okay. So this is sending us 60 ore per minute because the, the, the miner does 60 per minute and we're on a mark one belt, which does 60 per minute, but the smelter only takes in 30 per minute, which is why we have a splitter here. Okay. So we're trying to be efficient. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves a constructor. So let's, let's press in for Nancy and constructor for a constructor. And um, actually, you know what? I don't want that quite yet. What I want instead is I want to grab another lift and I'm going to put this lift in here and turn it that way. We're going to grab another lift. We're going to hook it up there and turn it that way. Okay. Now, why am I not just running a belt straight across here? Because if I do, then it's in the way and I have to jump over it or under it. If I keep things up high, then we have an unobstructed path. It's going to be even more important when we get the factory cart. It'll allow us to move back and forth between our machines uh, more easily. How about that, huh? Okay, let's grab this constructor now. We're going to flip it around so the input's on that side. By the way, orange is always in, green is always out in this game. Okay. Now, we're going to bump this up against the... Uh, uh, the lifts until it turns yellow, and then we're going to just back it up one until it's blue. Okay? Now, here's the thing, though. These... Sometimes when you do this, 
the product will flow through. Sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, then you just pick these up and put them back down. But let's see if it did. So now what we want to do is we want to get some power over here. And I think what I'm going to do at this point... Okay, i got to think about something for a minute. If I put a power pole right there and put another one on the other side of it and run a line, is it going to clip? It's just barely clearing that, I think. No, <laughs> no, it's not. It's touching it. The game doesn't care. I care. Okay, so what that means then is we're going to hold these out another tick away from the seam. But I'm going to actually start that process with this pole. Um, so, okay, yeah, so let's do this. That would be on the seam. That's one tick over. All right. Let's remove that line. I'm just going to pop that over there because I want nice 90 degree angles on all of this stuff. Let's hook you back up. You can't. Uh, oh, sorry. Wrong thing. Okay, so that's that's just our temporary connection. This pole, this wire, all this stuff we're going to pick up at the end of this episode. Okay, so let's grab... Whoops. Let's grab a wire connection there. And... Since this is the start of our street, we're going to put this on the corner but move it over one, one thing of a doodle. Okay. In fact, you know what? We don't even need this here because we can run off of here into there. Make it look a little neater. What I could do later, too is I could even move all these poles over so it's a straight line all the way down, but I'm not going to do that right now. That's an off-camera thing, if I do it at all. Okay. How are we doing on our rotors? 43. Seven more to go. Okay, now, um, the power connections are on this side, so let's grab you. And we're going to bring you over to here. And that should clear everything. Yes, it does. It's nice and straight. It looks neat. It looks good. Let's bring another power line to here. And we'll connect that one to there, that one to there. All right, so is product going to flow down through here? Let's see. It is. Okay, so that did take. All right, we want to set this guy to make uh, plates. And notice that this takes 30 iron ingots in per minute, and it outputs 20 plates per minute. So this is outputting 30 ingots per minute, and this is intaking 30 per minute. So it's 100% efficient. except for that it's not. Okay, so that this is what I, what I was saying then. So what all we have to do to fix this is really easy. We just pick this up and we reset it again. And now it should flow. Except for I got it going the wrong way. It won't flow if you got it going the wrong way. Turn there. And we've started. Okay, beautiful. So that takes care of our plate production. Let's, uh, before we proceed with rods, let's see if this is ready to go. 48, we need two more. 
How close are you? Uh, there's one, and yeah, it's just waiting for that last one. Okay, so let's get started on the next one. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab another smelter. And I like to space these machines a tile and a half apart. If you space them just a tile apart, some machines like the constructors, you see how that's little part of it's sticking out an, a couple of feet over well if I put another one next to it then they're gonna clip into each other and I don't like clipping clipping's not allowed clipping is sin it's evil it's how um, you know the road to hell is paved with good intentions well we're gonna change that the road to hell is paved with good clipping <laughs> that was terrible wasn't it <laughs> okay never mind anyway yeah we don't like clipping so what we're gonna do is uh, instead of going one foundation apart, we're going to do a foundation and a half apart. Okay, so this one I want to be lined up exactly the same as that smelter. Um, so, and we want to make sure it's in the center. And I think that's right. You do have to be careful with your holding control down because sometimes it lines up on something other than what you think it's lining up on. Let's grab a lift here. Flip it this way. We're gonna grab a conveyor belt till we see the right angle, and then we're gonna go back two ticks. Bring that up there and put it in there, and we got a nice sexy 90 degrees. I love it. Okay, you are gonna be smelting iron. Now, for this one, we gotta do something just a little bit differently because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the product that comes out of this smelter and split it twice. Uh, well, no, split it once so that it's feeding two different uh, machines. So to do that, we want to put a lift here. And we're going to take and grab ourselves a splitter. And I... Uh, oh, we're... Uh, wait, what, are, what just happened? A splitter is eight. Oh, we're missing plates. That's what happened. Okay. We got... Those are screws. Those are rods. These are plates. That doesn't need to be there. Okay, let's grab our splitter. Make sure the input is on that side. Orange is in. Green is out. And we're going to line it up on, on the four corners of this scene, but we're going to go one blip this way. How do I know that? Because I practice this before we start. Um, most of the time in this game, I will pre-build or lay out what I'm going to do on camera before I do it on camera, because if I don't do that, then I spend, you know, way too much time hemming and hawing trying to figure things out. Um, so I, I need to have somewhat of a plan in place before, you know, I start recording. Okay, these guys don't need to be there anymore, but we ran that into there. Our rotors should be finished now. Okay, good. We are finished with this whole little setup here. And so all of this can be removed. That pole, however, will stay there. Nice and cleaned up. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our jump pads going. Put those rotors in there. Put those in there. Those in there. Milestone reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Okay, so what that did is that unlocked the um, the jump pad, which is essentially a catapult. You stand on it and it flings you 100 feet up into the air onto high platforms. And this is a big bowl of green jello that you can jump down into off of high places and not take damage. That's what those are for. Um, okay, next we're going to do... Uh, here, let's uh, check that off the to-do list. Jump pads. Isn't that so satisfying to check things off your to-do list? I love it. 
Uh, okay, so let's go to here. The last thing we need to do is the resource sink. And the nice thing about this one is we don't have to make anything special. We already have all this product. So as soon as our rocket comes back, we just load this thing up and we have finished everything in tier two. It's a beautiful thing. Let's get back to this. Now, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to grab ourselves a another constructor. Um, actually, hold on. Before we do that, we're going to grab a lift. We're going to put a lift there. Do that. Okay, now we're going to grab a constructor. Turn it around so the input's on that side. And make sure it's lined up. Now, we're going to go forward until it turns yellow. We're going to pull it back once until it's blue. And I'm just going to reset this because more than likely we're going to need to anyway. Okay, good. Um, yep, that should work. Now, this guy's going to make rods. And notice that it takes in 15 ingots per minute, okay? This one, however, outputs 30 ingots per minute, which is why we put a splitter there. Okay, let's get power set up for these guys. Um, we're going to come to this seam, but over one that way. And we're going to do another one. Yeah, let's let's line this one up on that seam as well. So everything's nice and neat and lined up. Power you. Power you. Okay, let's make sure it's flowing through. It looks like it is. This thing has started. It's a beautiful thing. We have now set up our rod production. What do you think about that? I don't think he has an opinion, but I think maybe he had open heart surgery and they forgot to sew him back up. It's terrible. Can't get good help these days. Okay. Anyway, um, let's see. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab another constructor. with the input on the left hand side this time and i think i want you yeah i want you right there and right in the center uh no you're not in the center try that again that's i believe where i want you Beautiful, you're in the center. And if we put this here, it should line up. We're gonna go up three with this. One, two, three. You'll see why in a minute if you haven't already figured out what I'm gonna do, except for I'm too far this way. Because I want this to be aligned with these. Okay, so that means we need to hold this back. Um this line here, we need to go another unit away from that. So let's get on this side. We want the input here. And I think we want to come one more this way. No, 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 that's too far. Try it again. Here, let's let's try and do it from this side, because that way I can kind of see what's going on. I think this is I think that's where we want it. Right? Yes, that's where we want it. Okay. Turn this way, go up three. One, two, three. Beautiful. A, a, a big part of about this game is just Finding the right position so you're lining things up because you can't always rely upon holding control down, um, especially when you have a lot of stuff around because then control, like I said earlier, might be confused about what it is you actually want to um, do, you know. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do next is we're going to put you here and you here. And we're going to... Uh, wait a minute. What did I do wrong? 
take that back off for a minute. Oh, right, right, no, sorry. We want to input into this side, like that. We should be able to make that 90, I think. So let's go to here, get our green line, go back two units up here, and look at that. It's almost as if I had planned it out that way. Okay, so that's gonna take the other half of the ingots coming out of the smelter and feed it into here. We're also gonna set this to do rods, which will take in 15 per minute. Okay, so we're outputting 30 ingots per minute, splitting it here, 15 are going into here, which is what it needs, and 15 are going into here, which is what it needs. So, so far we're still 100% efficiency. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to grab another constructor and we're going to line it up with this one with the input on that side. And we should be able to use control for this one. Yep, perfect. Perfect, perfect, okay. Let's grab a lift. We're gonna turn it this way and we're gonna go up three. One, two, three. And now you know why we did that over there. We got a nice little straight level uh, conveyor belt going into there from here. We're going to set this for screws. Okay. Now. Um, I think I'm going to remove this. I, I don't mind those in some cases because it it's kind of realistic that it provides support, but in this particular case, um, that is lined up correctly that way, isn't it? Oh, right. This is a constructor. These are refiners. I, I couldn't figure out why this wasn't lining up with those, but it's a different machine. So it is, it's just kind of the way that it is. I'd rather have our outside lines perfect and nice and straight than, you know, our inside stuff, just because that's how I roll. Okay, so now we're going to, let's run our power. And we'll put this one, uh, we'll put it here and here. We'll put the other one lined up with this one. That looks good. Now, here's here's where things are going to change a little bit. the The thing that we're running into now, in terms of efficiency, is that. This, these rods are outputting at 15 per minute, as you can see, but the screws only take 10 per minute on the input. If we just leave it that way, then this machine's going to get backed up and we're not at that point 100% efficient. Is that the end of the world? Absolutely not. It's not a big deal, actually, but I want, uh, I want to set this up so that it is 100% efficient. Okay, so how we're going to accomplish that is, uh, well, we could, do, we could do a couple of things. We could underclock this um, from here and set it so that it's only doing 10 per minute. And you can actually just type that in directly. So that's one way to handle that. But if we do that, then, then we're kind of pushing the, the backup over to here now because remember this is still trying to send this 15 per minute so that doesn't really solve the backup problem um and if we kept you know it, it, what that's basically doing is it's it's backing up this whole input line here which we don't really want to do that again if you did it it's not the end of the world it's not a big deal but i don't want to do it that way so we're going to keep that at 100 percent instead what we're going to do is we're going to overclock our screw machine and to do that we're going to need to make a power shard so let's grab a slug out of here. We're going to go into here and we're going to make uh, one power shard. 
Just a tier one power shard. That's all we need. Put our sluggy poos back in there. Come to here. Put the shard in. And then we're going to overclock this to 150%. And now it's taking in 15 per minute. And we are back to a 100% efficient iron production line here uh, for our three iron products. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Did our rocket come back? Yes, it did. Uh, probably a long time ago. Okay, so uh, let's finish this up. We're going to put all of the stuff in here that it needs. Um, uh, looks like we need to get some more plates. So those we put in here, I think. Let's grab some more plates. Stuff still coming up here? Yep, it is. Okay. We'll let that continue on for now. There we go. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. That's awesome. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. <laughs> Looks like he was going to crash into that. <laughs> Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fix it is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Awesome. All right, cool. So now we have access to the awesome shop and this awesome sink. Um, for the shop, let's go to special and grab the shop. And I'm going to put that right on this corner here. Uh, yeah, right there is good. And for those of you who are not familiar with this, this is very cool because this is where we get all of the neat stuff for the game. These, this is kind of like accessories or special equipment or alternates and uh, things like that. So on the organization tab, we have signs, we have light, different types of lights we can put up. We have um, special containers for hazardous stuff or for medical stuff. Um, on the management tab, we have conveyor ceiling mounts, and this is actually new, I believe, to update 8, and we're going to make good use of those. This allows us to hang um, a conveyor rack from, you know, from down below. Um, you could you could kind of get away with this. Well, you could get away with it in an earlier game, but it was kind of a cheese method that you had to follow, so I'm really glad they added those. Uh, it added the grommets, so these are really nice, too, because then you can run conveyor belts up through floors and make it look really nice. Uh, and then wall sockets, these are basically those things, but something you can connect to a wall when you have an enclosed space. Uh, let's see, foundations. These give us different types of foundations, including those ones I was looking for a couple episodes ago. Uh, you know, for the angled foundations and a lot of cool different shapes you can get here for building really cool stuff. Uh, these are walls and ramps and windows that we'll make use of and gates uh, when we start enclosing our factory. Uh, architecture pieces, so structural beams, concrete pillars, which I like to use, uh, catwalks, stairs, all kinds of cool stuff in there. Um, the customizer allows you to change the blocks, uh, the texture on the block, so this can, you know, it can look like um, asphalt or metal or actual concrete, you know, different stuff like that. Uh, special stuff is the factory cart. We'll definitely get that when we can. It gives us a little cart we can put put around on our factory floor. And some other cool stuff, including the boombox, which is also new since update 5. I think this was added maybe in 6 or 7. And uh, it actually plays music. These are the little cassette tapes that you can put in it. And it, it also doubles as a weapon. <laughs> because you can, you can um, do a bass boost and it creates like a concussion shock and blows enemies away. It's really funny. We'll mess with that later. I do need to make sure, though, that um, none of this music is copyrighted. Uh, so, yeah, I'll have to kind of check into that. Hopefully it's not. Um, this allows you to get equipment like the coffee cup, which is fun, and iron rebar pack. If this is the same thing as just the iron ammo, I don't know if it is. I don't know why you would ever spend coupons on that when you can just make it, but I don't know. And then, speaking of that, you can also buy parts, but all of the stuff in this menu, you can make. Um, so, you know, because coupons are pretty, you know, they're, they're pretty precious and they become harder and harder to get as you progress in the game. I just don't think, in as a general rule of thumb, that it's a good idea to spend coupons on this stuff. But, you know, it is an option for those who opt to do that. You be you. You do you. Just don't do me. 
Uh, that came out wrong. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's move along here. Um, so the other thing is we now have the awesome sink. And I'm going to put this over here. Um, I'm not necessarily going to keep it in this exact spot, but it's going to be in this general vicinity. If you don't know what this is, uh, this is basically what you do with any surplus product. So, you know, if we have surplus product, we can feed it into here and it will generate the coupons that we need to spend in the store. So it's really cool because you never really have to waste anything in this game um, except for actual byproduct. But there's even ways to deal with that, which we won't even have to worry about for a while. But, you know, if, I, if I'm making all this stuff and I start to just have tons and tons of extra, you know, rods or plates or whatever, I just feed them into, hey, buddy. Uh, into here and it generates coupons for us. So it's really cool. I, I like that system, you know, the system that they have here. All right, we are almost finished here. Let's um, go to our to-do list and we have now accomplished uh, the awesome sink. And uh, we're, we just have one final step here for setting up our iron product line before we're, we're finished for today. And so the, what I want to do is Okay, I'm going to um, grab a storage bin. Uh, here, let's just go in storage container. And we're going to put that storage container right here in this corner. But we're going to push it back a couple of, a couple of clicks there. Uh, right, okay. And then we're going to do two more like that. This one's going to be for plates. This one's going to be for rods. This one's going to be for screws. Um, all right, now what we're going to do is we're going to... I, ho uh, I hope we have enough room to do this. Well, if we don't, we'll adjust. Okay, I'm going to put a conveyor belt into these, and I'm going to hold it out to here. Excellent. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, grab a, a lift. I'm going to put a lift on here, but we're going to turn the input that direction for the first one. This one will turn this way, and this one will turn this way. Got that one bass backwards. There. Very good. Now, we're going to put a lift here and turn it that way. We're going to put a belt into here and we're going to run it one two three let's see if we can get it to work there let's raise it up and then no that's uh that's way too close okay yeah i gotta hold that back Let's copy this conveyor pole and let's let's move it back one two. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, now let's come back this way. Get our green line. Go back two. Up to here, and then conveyor belt floor is too steep. What? Okay, what the hell, man? I guess I have it too close to that. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's move this back one. Why the f 
fuck isn't that going in there? I'm really confused. Everything was going perfect too until now. That's an output. That's an input. No, that's the problem. I got these I got these turned around the wrong direction. Oh man, okay. That is the problem. Okay. Well, that explains it. <laughs> I was like going, what the hell, man? This should work. I know it works. I've practiced it. Whoops. All right. These are no longer going to be attached, so we're going to have to remove them. Uh, and I don't think these are actually either. They might be, but we're just going to redo them just in case. I accidentally got that other bin out of there. Um, yeah. Okay. These little three line thingy thingamadoodles are always inputs and this little sort of kind of arrow bracket is always an output. Just FYI. All right, let's try this again. So we want to put you there, bring you out to here. Make sure those are lined up. Grab a lift. Nope, try it again. Grab a lift. Turn that way and then huzzah. Except for, we need to, we, I was right the first time in terms of how far out we were. I just didn't realize that's what the problem was. This actually needs to go here. Beautiful. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so that's going to store all of our, our plates in there. Now, let's do this next one. Um, so we need a lift here. And that needs to go that way. Um, actually, no. Let's try it this way. This probably work better. Put you here. Point you this direction. Okay. So where uh, what we're gonna do with this is. Um, let's get this one in place too. And this one's actually easier anyways. Let's do this one now just so we kind of know what we have to work with. So we just bring this till we get the green line, go back to up to here and then into there. Nice 90 degree curve. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy in here and bring it out Well, that works. <laughs> I was making that too complicated. My goodness. That works just just fine. Fine and dandy. Okay. Nice. I love it. All right. Now, the last thing. The reason that I held, uh, that I put these little extra conveyor belts in here, uh, you know, for that, to leave us some space there is because what we're going to do is we're going to stack these. And I think we'll go three high. And so now what we can do is grab a lift and we can do this. And we needed you know, we needed the clearance so that we could put those guys in. And then we also need to do this on the front.
So what will happen now is the product will come in down here, but it'll it'll basically zigzag up to the top and fill the top up first and then backfill on the way down. And you can continue to even add more, you know, as needed, just to you can go up as high as you want to to add more storage space with the same single, you know, um, storage container footprint. And later on, we'll be able to get larger storage bins, um, you know, that, that are automatically stacked too high. But, but these, you know, for now, we, we just have these to work with. Okay. Let's take a look here real quick at um, our, um, there's a ladder here. Have we brought everything up? Nope. We're still bringing up screws and copper wire. But the other stuff has now been exhausted. So I'm going to clean all of that crap up off camera. And I'm going to move all of the stuff in these bins over into these bins here. And I'll just do that manually because it's it's close enough now to where, you know, running back and forth a little bit's not a big deal. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode. Man, we accomplished a lot. Um, let's go into our to-do list. And I thought I already checked off the awesome sink. Maybe I forgot to do something. I don't know, but... Oh. Hold on. Check that. Check that. I think we have to click away from it. Yeah. We can't press enter because, you know, then it'll mess up the text. There we go. Look at that. Our to-do list is done, man. We've checked everything off. We are absolutely efficient today let's get a screenshot um we're gonna go into tower yeah tower um let's put it right about here and um let's holster hold on holster the web uh wait a minute how come you're... Oh, because I'm in build mode. Okay. Holster that. Get into photo mode. And we'll get lined up here. I have a picture of our factory with this, uh, the space elevator in the background. Uh, you know, it's it's too big for us to, to get the whole thing, but I think that'll make a nice little screenshot right there. Huzzah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. Um, what's coming up next is we need to set up our copper production line, uh, which we'll do in this area here. And we also need to get concrete um, up here onto the platform too, so it's it's nice and nearby. What I might end up doing with that is uh, running a line underneath the platform over to the other side. So we'll, we'll put a, a stack of, of containers here for copper wire, a stack for cable, and then a stack for concrete and uh, maybe you know come up with some other scheme to run it up here so that it's nice and neat but that is going to be it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch y'all in the next one Bye bye <laughs>